Well, it's American Heart Month, and our friends at the Spartanburg Regional Healthcare System want to make sure that you pay closer attention to your heart health. And here to re recognize the symptoms of heart failure and how to stay healthy are Tiffany Gregory, Crystal Butler, and Jennifer Vygotsky. Thank you guys so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you for having us. We were saying with all this combined level of experiences, you guys make the world go round with what you do with our healthcare system. So we appreciate that. Well, thank you. Thank well, you. What you do is uh, try to help people that may have transportation problems. That's correct. Get some attention. And, and some of it's going to the home, right? Why don't you start with this? Yes, sir. Um, thankfully, with the Heart Failure Clinic, we got a grant through the Duke Endowment um, to be able to start a community paramedicine program to go out and see patients that may not be able to make it into the Heart Failure Clinic. We're able to go out and see them in the home mm -hmm. so that they continue to get that follow-up care. Our goal is to see them within seven days of discharge from the hospital and to make sure they get that continuity, continuity of care um, and their follow-ups to make sure they're all optimized on the correct medications and that they have everything they need. And that's a big thing, especially when we're talking about rural areas and accessibility, making mm -hmm. sure everybody has the access to the health care that they need to make sure they're able to, to get better. Um, and we, we were talking about heart failure. Of course, everyone's talking about hearts with the heart month. What are some of the, the symptoms of heart failure for folks that may not may not know those, may not be able to recognize those. So shortness of breath, especially when lying flat, uh, patients start noticing they have to start stacking up pillows to be able to breathe or sit upright. Huh. Uh, they have this sensation like they, they're smothering or drowning and uh, swelling in the legs and the extremities and the belly. Um, difficulty doing things that they normally were able to do. Right. So fatigue, um, patients describe, you know, I used to be able to walk to the mailbox, but now I'm having to stop two or three mm -hmm. times yeah. to catch my breath. So those it, were some of the classic symptoms. Explain telehealth. Uh, we can see you via TV screen. Yes. So what we do is Tiffany is one of our nurse practitioners in our heart failure clinic. Um, and we actually have three locations for heart failure clinics. We have one in uh, Cherokee Medical Center, Spartanburg Medical Center, and Pelham Medical Center. Okay. So what Crystal does is she has a SUV that's specially equipped with special Wi-Fi systems um, for areas that don't maybe don't have internet service. Mm -hmm. And so Crystal goes into the home and has uh, special equipment she uses, such as uh, iPad, rugged laptops, and Crystal sets up telehealth with the patient. And so. Tiffany is in our office on the other side of that, yeah. and Crystal will physically assess the patient, listen to heart and lung sounds, um, look for any swelling, and then tell Tiffany, or tell, tif tell Tiffany when Crystal's with the patient, Crystal will say, Tiffany, I, I hear fluid in the lungs. Yeah. And so we're able to transmit that information. We have an interactive stethoscope so here. So it gives you real time. Yes, yeah, yeah. so if Crystal has this stethoscope on the patient, Tiffany in her office can hear heart and lung sounds. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, we can do real time EKGs in the home, blood draws, mm -hmm. and help the patients um, retrieve medications that they may Technology need. Technology has advanced so much wow. to be yeah, able to really do that. Has. And I think a lot of people took advantage of that, of course, during the, the pandemic during when, when telemedicine was a really big thing. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, definitely a, a bonus to yes. be able to have. I'm this. sure y'all are in favor of the little. Uh, handheld EKGs. Yes. Your yes. fingers on there. <laughs> yes. I mean, yes. My, my wife's heart doctor said, oh yes, we love them. Yes. Oh, she's a heart doctor. Yeah. We have a, a patient who lives, he's 95 years old, yeah. lives in Union. Last year in 2022, he was admitted to the hospital six times. Yeah. Now it's very difficult for his family to bring him to appointments. Mm -hmm. And so since Crystal has been going out since November, he has not been admitted to the hospital wow. one time, well, program but it also helps the caretakers. You know, he's 95, it's, mm -hmm. it's hard to get him into the car, to True. get into a wheelchair, to yeah. come to an office. So we are bringing the clinic to the home and we also help patients who um, are unable to read and write with their medications. Well, you're doing such a good job. Who's your boss? We'll get you a raise. <laughs> <laughs> Meredith Portner. <laughs> there you go. Um, so if someone's interested in getting uh, telehealth, is that something they just talk to with their, with their provider? They call someone at the hospital to yes. set them up with that? So um, all of our patients um, need a referral to the heart failure clinic at Spartanburg Regional. And then um, we can do telehealth with them. Awesome. And real quick, any advice you'd give the people to keep their hearts healthy? Obviously, move and move mm -hmm. often. <laughs> Staying active is very important. You know, we recommend 30 to 45 minutes of exercise three to five times a week. Mm -hmm. um, also, eating a heart healthy diet. Um, just yeah. a sensible, healthy diet, um, and keeping your routine follow-ups with your um, 
providers uh, for lab work and, and um, you know, screenings. Mm -hmm. And walking can be just as functional or as necessary as running. Everybody can't run. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Get, get outside yeah. and get out. Get the heart rate up. And, and we go to guys. that website and we can find more, right? That's yeah. right. Yes, yes, from sir. Thank you, lady. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. Yeah. Thank, Thank you for having us.